I tried to clean these carburetor parts with uh, vinegar and it didn't really do a lot for this heavy crusted rust that's in here. Let me see. See some of that rust is pretty pretty bad yet. And uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give the old electrolysis theory a shot. I'm really kinda partial to that anyway. And then I've got some other pieces in here off of a, an old Mauser I wanna try to clean up a little bit and put them in the same tank. It's just a little bit of a pain in your inski to to uh, set up your tank because you got to put your your uh, morsen powders and all that stuff in it. Well, this piece here is all right. I'm not going to mess with that. That's pretty good shape. That's a bayonet lug off of a Mauser rifle. This is going to be okay for the way it is. Anyway, later on I'm going to go out there and see if I can set up my tank and well, see what happens. My trolls are set up. I've got uh, first off I got some of this. I don't know. Everything's always turned around backwards. This stuff here, everybody uses it, and it's uh, readily available, not harmful. Anyway, then there's uh, we got this in here. We got well, we're running off that little battery charger right there. It needs to be one of the older kind. It's not one of the smart chargers because that won't work unless you run through a battery first. Anyway, back to this. We got our negative one here, the positive over here on these things, and that's what's going to pull up the rest off of what we're trying to clean onto these. I don't know what they call them things here, adenodes or something like that. Maybe they're adenoids, I don't know what they are. But anyway, then you hook this, uh, all these things are on here. You need a good ground on there, well, a good connection, not a ground, but a good connection on all that. So we're getting some agitation. I don't know if you can see it very much or not. I try to fill the camera still. I don't know how good it's cleaning. Uh, we're running up here on some reasonable amount of amps there, I think. So, all right, well. We'll get back out and we find out something better to do in here. Electrolysis tank for about, well, I think it was, it was 11.30 when I started and it's 5.30 now, so it's, uh, it's been a while. And, uh, let's see. Oh. And that's where it's going to have some color to it, but most of that rust is gone. I'm going to leave this old butt plate in there longer because it's it was really bad so, and inside here pretty bad too so it needs a little more of a treatment than that let's see what else we got in here let's see what is this okay all right that's that part of that carburetor and uh so yeah, it's got a gasket still on there. But, uh, let me get, I don't know, I'm trying to take the, trying to take the finish off of it, but I don't know if it did or not. Uh-oh, broke my bar. Yep. Let's see if we can get that off left-handed. There we did. There's that. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to try to, let's see it. It's even taking that. Probably can't see a thing in the dark here. But the gasket's mostly all gone off of it. And it looks pretty good inside. Wipe this out. Okay, I'm going to blow this out over here. Not because I don't want to get on the camera, so I'll get it over. Okay. Alright, pretty good. There's still a little, still a little rust in here, but it's not bad. So, Creates out real easy. So I'm gonna get busy. Now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Huh? That's gonna that's gonna clean up pretty good. I don't know how long this old carburetor set. I don't know if you can see anything at all in there or not. It's too, too dark, I expect. But anyway, there's that part there. So I'm gonna uh, spray it down with oil because I don't want to. It didn't start rusting any worse than it is, or than it was. Well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll wait about spraying that with oil for a little while. Uh, see if I can uh, use a little bit more uh, water brush method on that. All right, let's see. Let's get, get in there again. Let's see here. Let's see here. Yeah, let's see. What do we got here? 
There, that's the that's the bottom part of it. And there is. And there's still some rust in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. I should have better light. But that's the part of the gasket material right there. Let me see if I can blow it out with the air gun again. <clears throat> yeah, there's still a few rusty flakes in there. I don't know if you can see them or not. Let's get the sunlight just right. But uh, I think them will come out pretty easy if I scrape on them. So we'll see what happens. As a matter of fact, I might put that back in the tank a little while longer to see what happens on that. I believe it will. Anyway, that's about the gist of this. Anyhow, that stuff sure does look scuzzy down the rut. Rust and stuff came off. Let me see. Uh, let's just check and see what these <clears throat> what these adenoids look like here. <laughs> But that's gonna go down a bit. Let me hang on. Let me put it. Not as bad as I expected. There's some rust on them, but see, this was a finish it was, and that's the rust. But anyway, it's a pretty good method for getting. And it won't work on aluminum or copper or anything like that. It has to be metal. So anything else, the vinegar theory, of course, would be the best. That's enough of this. Uh, All right, this is the last work. of the ordeal of cleaning the old carburetor. After using that electrolysis, I was able to get this jet out of here. Before that, I could not get it out with. The, I put a, a, a ratchet a little screwdriver thing and it couldn't come out. But after we did that, it didn't come out easy, but it came out, which was better than before. So, I mean, it, looks, it still looks dirty and all that, but it's, an old, it's, a, it's cast iron, so it's not going to clean up like a real bright and shiny aluminum one will. But that old crust in the bottom down there is not there anymore. And uh, I'm going to have to do a little, I'm going to have to do a little clean up, yeah, more, because I've, I've ordered a kit for it. I'm supposed to get the gasket. If you notice right there, somebody had broke a dial or a bit a tap off of that hole. I don't know if I'll mess with that or not. You know, if you know anything about how hard them taps are, it's darn near impossible to get them out. But I'll try anyway. Yeah, this is. A, I think it's a, once I get my kit to work, which I don't know how long that's going to be. I think it's going to be all right. All right. Enough of this monotonous malarkey about cleaning up this carburetor. Y'all take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye now.